Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. Now that we've done the Savage Labyrinth, which I believe is everything done on Outside the Island, except for that red rupee that's on top of the, the lookout, that we don't really need to look at, uh, it's time to keep sailing and get some more stuff done. And actually, I should probably check my map, because I believe there's actually a few things right nearby that we could probably do. So, we should actually probably go up there and then there. So let's do that, change our course, and do a few other things. Uh, let's also check the incredible chart, just to see where some Triforces are. Why are there two in that square there? I don't know. That's interesting. Maybe that's just the, I guess the Triforces that were from the Triforce charts are now marked on the map, which is interesting. But anyway. There's also a few other sunken treasures that we can go pick up while we're heading in this direction. Did I get the one for this island already? I don't think I did. No, I didn't. Cool. Well, we will now, so. Because there it is right there, wow. Too perfect. Okay, let's slow down. And get that. Silver rupee, worth 200. We have so many rupees now after the uh, Savage Labyrinth. There's also a withered tree here. Interesting. Now, I believe we need to do a few things to be able to do stuff here. So let's get rid of this grass so I can see better. I don't really need to do that, but I'm going to do it anyway. Also, I'm guessing that's just pointing to the fairy island. Yep. That we've already gone to. There's a few other things we can we need to do here though, so let's do that. Now, we have four switches of different var varieties. You must activate all four switches on this island, and you must activate them all swiftly, so we need to do it fast. Danger will visit all who fail to heed my warning. The CSW, I don't even know. Pot I don't. <laughs> I, I don't even know. Pronunciation, it's fine. But anyway, I don't know why there's a warning exactly. But that's okay. We just need to hit all four switches, so it should be fine. I'm also going to need my iron boots, though, so let's equip that. Oh, and the boomerang. So we need three items equipped for this. So, let's go as quickly as we can. Now, let me see if I can aim at that while running, which apparently I can, and then we need to go up here quickly. Get up, and iron boots. And that was fast enough, apparently. <sighs> Probably barely, but still. I, I, you just need to go very quickly and hitting all those switches. And for doing that, the fire around this hole is gone, so let's go in and find out what's here. Now, if I had to guess, it's probably enemies. Yep. Let's get started. There's a health bar that we were talking about. Oh my goodness, enemies. Oh my goodness, enemies. Oh my goodness, enemies. Come on, spin attack. Moblins. Dark Nut. Yeah. 
Come on. Come on, spirit attack. Ah! Meeblins are the worst. Come on. That's a whiz robe. I have no idea what's happening on the screen right now. Ow. I really need this armor off. So I can do some stuff. Now, where's this whiz robe? Oh, it's gone again. Oh, hello. Please, hit the whiz robe. Oh my goodness. Too many targets. Come on. Spit attack! Apparently something hit the whiz robe for me, which is nice. I think. Might be wrong about that, actually. Got him. Just roll away for a second. Okay, is that everything? Not quite. Now, is that everything? No. Okay, more dark nut. No, dark nuts. Ow. Ow. Oh my goodness. Good. Great. And now, absolutely destroy. It's a good thing I picked up the heroes thing last time so we can see the health bars. Okay. Well, that was an absolute mess, I guess. Look at all the swords and stuff on all along the ground. Sword sticks. Ugh. Spears. Silver rupee. All of that for a silver rupee. Just imagine. All of that for a silver rupee. I guess there's also the spoils that can drop. But still, all that for a silver rupee. I believe that's why they call it the enemy hell. Possibly? I think it's this one. Probably. Judging by how many enemies there were, I'm gonna guess this one's the one that's normally called the enemy hell. Okay, grab all of that. And I think that's everything here. So let's go. Wow. Ah, oh, so many things on the screen. All taken care of. Let's head on over to the fairy island and get the treasure there. And then maybe I'll head south a bit more and get some more of the map completion. Although I could also head north and get those two squares that I haven't visited yet, apparently. Don't even remember what those islands are. Maybe I do. I don't know. There's several places I can go to. Oh, hello! Don't see those very often. It's just a little octo enemy. You hardly ever see them, so... Oh, hey. Lookouts. I probably already did them. If I had to guess. Probably? Maybe I haven't. Maybe? Maybe. I don't think I have, actually, so I'm gonna go check those. Piece of heart. One more for another heart container. Feels like it's been a while since we got our, an, another heart container. But anyway. Let's just stop off. And take a look at this place. Yeah, I definitely haven't d d done this look at yet. There are so many cannons shooting at me right now. 
It's fine. Well, there they go. Probably should also take out all the cannons if I can. I seem to always set the bombs to the same button as I do, so... It's just like the leaf all over again. Now, do I sail across to that one now, or do I wait? I should wait. I, sh I should wait. Uh, I should go to the other one first. Get shot up by the cannons, I guess. Up we go. It's nice being on the Great Sea again. It feels like it's been a bit. Which it kind of has, because we've been at outset for a long time. Okay, be gone. And be gone. Now to get rid of these cannons. There we go. And there's another chest, so that was that was the good choice to wait before going across. I don't remember this lookout before. I don't know why I don't remember this lookout ever existing. That's going in a direction. Now, let's set that to north, I guess. That bomb's going in a direction. I don't know how the cannon could possibly shoot in that direction, but it is, so... I guess I can't argue there. How? How? Oh, there he goes. I'm sorry, I he jumped. Scared of here, and now cannons. Where are the cannons? They're in a weird, weird, weird positions. Well, that's okay. I'll take care of them. Open, open, says me, open, says me, open, says me. Ah! Rolling into the wall. Okay, there's nothing else that's going to spawn in, apparently. Skull necklace. Very nice. Unless I missed. Which it doesn't look like I did, so... Guess it's just these two. And... A treasure chart. Very nice. Let's check that out. Where is it? There it is. Treasure chart 40, which actually looks like it's for... The island down southwest. That's the direction, right? I think so. It's the entrance to the Earth Temple. It really does feel like those two could both be considered the Earth and Wind temples. Or temple. It's kind of a mix with both of them. I guess what the Earth Temple is more Earth-like. But I mean, the boss uses wind, but it's fine. <laughs> it's it's fine, it just it seems strange to me. Da -da, da -da, ba -da -ba. Also need to go check out that reef because apparently we haven't gone there yet. There's also a lookout there. All sorts of things. Now, this one's down just below this island, I believe. Somewhere. There it is. Coming through, we're gonna crash. Oh my gosh. It's fine. Okay, stop. Salvage. I went too far. I knew it. Salvage? Got it. <laughs> that was lucky. we get another silver rupee. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these rupees. I guess I could check a few things on Windfall Island. Since it's been a while since we've been there and there's quite a few things that we need to do there still. As far as I can remember. Oh, I kind of want to look at the lookout first. It's just pulling me away. Also, that looks like seagulls. 
Have I not? Oh, that's probably the Great Fairy that we haven't done yet. Which means that the, the other... The, 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 there's probably another Great Fairy up north that I don't know how to do. It's fine, I'll figure it out. Excuse me. Excuse me. Don't, don't attack me, please. I'm busy. This must be a bad day for these Bokoblins. Or Bokoblins, whatever you want to call them. Oh my goodness, that bird was killed with the other person's- the other Bokoblins' body. Purple Rupee! That's just great. <laughs> that's a perfect description. Thanks, game. Well, it looks like that's everything here. Oh, The magic disappeared. Before I could reach it. And there's no more anywhere. Well, anyway, let's keep going. Perfect jump into the boat. Love that. Love to see it. Let's head up this way. And also, I should probably get out my bait so we can get the map for this island. We have a lot of bait that we don't really need. That's okay, because I need points, I guess, to save up for the memberships, possibly, if I'm trying to go get those. I don't know if I will or not. Possibly not. Hoy, small fry! Wait, have I already got... Beautiful fairy with precise magic power. She lives here. Maybe I have done this fairy already. Have I done this island already? I thought the... Not really. Sorry, sir. I need to check the map because it might have already been here, apparently. Okay, I have. I just couldn't see the island for some reason on the map. That works for me, though, because there is a treasure inside, so let's go get that under the seas, under the waves. I already got the regular treasure here, I'm pretty sure. By the looks of it. Two island. Two, two eye reef. Go fast. Nope. A bit more fo further forward. Quick. Ah, salvage. Got it. Where's the bomb? <laughs> I can't see it. Where is it? Might have disappeared, but it's fine. We get another piece of art. That's another heart container. That's 15 hearts. Very, very nice. Let me out of here, please. Slow down. Slow down. Everything's slowing down. Okay. Let's head on to the east. I've already done the Octo there. Pretty sure. <laughs> Let's go this way. I don't know why the Octo would reappear though. The seagull's there, so... I really have no idea. But hey, this is another island that we have yet to get the thing for. And also the thing for, if that makes sense. We haven't got the- we haven't got the- it marked on our chart, we also haven't got the treasure that's glowing there. Okay. Give me map completion or give me death. Preferably map completion. Oi, small fry! Angular Isles. Northeast of here is the Forest Haven. They say a truly unique kind of firefly is indigenous to that place. You heard of it, Small Fry? It emits bursts of light in seven colors. Supposedly, it's a, as beautiful as a rainbow. If you want to capture one, though, you'd best have a bottle to keep it in. And that's all the info I've got to offer. Cool, this is also not the island that I thought it was, but it's still... It's still the same... Same rewards that I haven't got yet, so... Um, excuse me, you're rude. Give me the treasure. How oh, hello, shark! Funny seeing you there. Just don't mind me, real quick. There it is. Another piece of heart! Very nice. Okay, give me... Get, get me on the land, please. I need the land. 
This looks really weird in this version. I don't know if that's just me. Or the shadows or something, but it looks really strange. It looks so different. Ah, grab! Don't slide off, please. Can only move a few of these blocks in here. Move that one. All the way over here. Let's head on up. We can pull this out twice, but we're gonna just do it once so we can go up faster. And also... Gonna grab out our grappling hook because once we get up here, another blue chew. Well, let's see what this treasure is. Another piece of heart. Got plenty of those now, apparently. Now we also have this island over here, which we could either use a leaf to sail down to. Or we can jump down here to our boat, climb up in, get out the hook shot, and just, you know, go on. Just get up there. It's very nice that there are multiple ways to get up and around. Just leave the sharks to do their own thing. Yeah, you must be hungry. Okay, this place. I remember this place. I don't know why I wouldn't remember this place. Have to move all these blocks around. Also, I feel like that was a mistake. Let me push, put that back. Yep. And go up over here instead. Okay, just pull that out. Actually, maybe it was. No, it, this must be more specific. Let me pull that out. Head on up. Pull that out again. Head on up. Pull that out. Head on up. Head on up. And pull that out. Perfect. Exactly. This looks safe to stand on. Look how... Uh, this, this platform is heavy and perfectly balanced on one side, apparently. Anyway, we need to direct this light. If possible. If possible. Down onto that treasure chest down there. There we go. Could use the leaf, or we can use the hookshot to get down to it. Probably intends for you to have the hookshot. Silver rupee, worth 200. That seems a bit surprising. Ah, where am I going? Oh, that actually connects over here. That's interesting. What happens if I go back through? I'm over here now. That's actually interesting. It's like it was actually designed to be used for something. But then, wasn't. Ever. <laughs> anyway. It's very interesting. Okay, let's go. Check out that raft there, because I feel like that raft might have something, possibly. Just let me check, at the very least. Well, it doesn't look like it, but it's here, so I might as well. How many things do I have? 68. I probably don't need more. That's fine. If I accidentally sneeze on these enemies, they'll go off the edge. Like that. So... Anyway. Let's keep going. And now, we want to head over to that island. Over there. Or islands. Technically. Hey sharks. Good to see you're still around. They are very persistent. Anyway, this island we need... Both things for. Need the map and also the sunken treasure. So let's do that. Oh. But they're in different directions. No. No, why? Stop. And salvage. And rain, which I like, so... Quite okay with this. Sea Hearts chart. 
Now you know where charts showing pieces of heart locations are hidden. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Where is it? This way. Island hearts, okay. Sea hearts. Okay, that tells me basically nothing. Basically. Well, anyway. Let's go get the map for this place. And then check out the island itself. Oi, small fry! Boating course. Of course it's the boating course. Let me ask you something, Fry. Have you been using ZR to make your boat jump? Well, have you? Of course, going out to sea just to jump around would be real dumb, if you ask me. Anyways, if uh, what you can do is tilt left stick, left right, to move your tiller just as you land. That's how you make a sharp turn. I didn't know that. If you didn't know that, why don't you try it out? Anyway, that's all the info I've got to offer. That's actually very interesting. That's actually extremely interesting. So if I jump and then tilt... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this changes everything, because now I can turn in an instant. That is something I wish I knew seven years ago. <laughs> Basically, at this point. Just... All, all the time that I've spent turning, and not very sharply, I could have been turning like a pro at full speed. Now, I also want to go across here, I think. Possibly, unless there's nothing else other than what this is actually supposed to be, to do. Doesn't look like I can get across like that, actually. Unless maybe I can hook shot from my boat. Ah, uh, but I guess I'll just talk to this guy. Hey, that's a pretty slick boat you got there, kiddo. So what do you say, kiddo? Wanna uh, play a boat game for 30 rupees? Sure, I have plenty of rupees to play this. Uh, tell me the rules first. Well, I ain't that good a talk. But here goes, now listen up. The deal is, you take your boat and sail over the barrels floating in the water and see how many rupees you can bring to the finish line within the time limit. There's two kinds of floating barrels you, uh, you got to watch out for. The ones that float up, float on their sides, and the ones that float upright. You can get rupees above the barrels floating on their sides by sa just sailing right over the barrels. But if you run into the barrels floating upright in the water, they'll rough you up. You want to know, uh, you know you can jump, press uh, ZR to jump your boat, right? Yeah, well, to get the rupees over the upright barrels, you've got to jump with ZR. It's the only way. The barrels get placed out there based on which way the wind's blowing. So watch that wind, wind gauge behind your boat. Real careful, like. But I've got... You can only use the regular sail. Okay. That makes more sense in, this ra in the race. None of them fancy speedy sails, you hear? Oh, and one more thing. If time runs out before the, you finish, you lose. So watch the timer too, will ya? Them's the rules. What do you say? Want to give it a shot? What do you say? Let's play. Alrighty. Then I'll... Then go down to the start line. Yeah, I'm not a great talker either. <laughs> Three, two, one. Just sail into that one. We have to follow the wind as it turns as well. Let's go. Okay. This seems extremely slow now that I don't have my super speedy sail. I'm bad at this. Just gonna get one of those two. Be careful of the bomb. That was close. I'm just gonna skip over that one. 
and grab the one. Dodge the bomb. Why are there so many bombs out here? What are you trying to do to your customers? Like seriously. The wind is blowing at a weird angle. How did I grab that? <laughs> I've got two minutes left. Ah! It's fine. Swim, swim, Link, swim, swim, swim faster. Oh boy. It's a good thing there's nothing important from this minigame. Other than rupees, which I guess are important. But still, they're not that important. How the bombs know when you're nearby? This seems bad. <laughs> we had plenty of time. We could have got that other rupee that we missed. As well. If I was smart, but still. Rupees 1, 148. Time remaining 2 minutes 6 seconds. Oh, way to be. Alrighty then, that here's the 148 rupees you collected as I promised. They're all yours, enjoy kiddo. Looks like you made a fortune, come back and do it again sometime. Nah, I'm good. I'm, I've got 5,000 rupees, I think I've maxed out my wallet from doing that. It's fine. So fine. I didn't need wallet space. I don't know what I'm going to use my rupees on. Is there a hole up there? Yes, there is a hole up there. I need to get up there. So let's... Uh, not that. Do that, please. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's go in this hole. Oh, hey. Enemies. Oh my goodness. Just gonna ignore all these mini blends. Do that. And see what this treasure chest is. Probably nothing important. There's so many mini blends. Submarine chart. Now you will know where the submarines that service from below. That's actually quite useful because I wanted to check all those. I don't think I need to fight these enemies, I could probably just run. I don't think killing them does anything, so... I think they're just here to annoy you. When trying to get the treasure chest, but anyway. That is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.